Hi there, my name is Chaos, and today we're going to talk about my favorite computer of all times, the Commodore 64, and in particular, the SD2 IEC, which is a nifty little device, we'll be talking about it in this video. The SD2 IEC makes it possible to fill an SD card to the brim with disk images of original floppy disks and play them on your Commodore 64. Connecting the SD2 IEC, uh, which also looks a little bit like a 1541 drive, it's really easy. You just connect this plug to the IEC bus or the serial bus of your Commodore 64, like this. And my version takes its power from the cassette port. There is also a version available which takes its power from the user port, which is this one. The SD2 IEC is not 100% compatible with the 1541 drive. So there are games out there which will not run with this device. If you want 100% compatibility with the 1541 drive, you should be looking at the 1541 Ultimate or the UK 1541. Both devices I will be discussing in later videos. But this will run the majority of the games and it's real easy to use as I will show you right now. Okay, so I have set everything up. I've connected the SD2 IEC to my Commodore 64G, which is my favorite model. Um, one thing I have not mentioned yet is that it's also compatible with most fast loader cartridges. I usually use the Final Cartridge 3, which was made in the Netherlands, just like me. Um, I'll plug it in right now and show you how it works. Okay, let's turn it on. Let me first show you what's on the SD card. I have Game Base, which is a folder um, filled with Commodore 64 games. Game Base is uh, a well-known database of uh, Commodore 64 games and it's all on there. I have a folder called MISC which has some testing programs and I have a folder called SE2 IEC which is the contents of a zip folder you can download from the creator of this device which are all games compatible with this device. You can also see there are two programs in the root of the SD card which is a file browser for the Commodore 64. You can also update the firmware of this device by simply putting the new firmware which is a bin file in the root of your SD card then turning the device on and it will automatically update its firmware. Okay, let's run the file browser and see how it looks. As you can see the file browser will show you the contents of the SD card and then we can browse around. Let's just start a game, see if it works. Let's go for the Commodore 64 D64 images. And let's start this commando on here. Yeah, here's Commando. As you can see, here's the D64, which I will now open. Now it has mounted that image, and I can run the PRG files inside the disk image. Now loading the game will go fast, because we're using a fast loader. Go. Let's switch joysticks. Yeah, run stuff to start. High score. Lovely. Oh, get the other joystick. Yeah, as you can see, it works perfect. Mounting the images and um, running games 
Let's try another game. Oh, let's free the hostage. Yes. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, stuck. Stuck. Okay, let's try another one. It's instantly ready to use. Great stuff. Okay. Let's go for something from game base. You can use uh, the joystick to operate this file browser, but you can also use the cursor. Okay. Let's load up my favorite game of all times on the Commodore 64. Genesis. Scissors. Oh, the sound of memories. Working great. The SD2 IEC is extremely easy to use. It's um, perfect for people that want to relive their childhood memories and play their old games. This will play most of them, I think. And uh, just a great little device. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.